Hi friends, today we're gonna do module five, lesson 16. Objective, count within tens by ones. So something that Ms. Plitt has been talking about with you and maybe your other teachers is to be good mathematicians, we need to start at any number and stop at a certain number. So being able to fluently count forwards and backwards to get to first grade. Okay, so for example, we've got our friend right here at the bottom of the path, and he is counting only from 50 to 59, and he has to stop when he gets to 59. 50, 51, here, let's move him. 50, 51, 52, go ahead and help me count. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, good, and stop, well done. This is a game that you can play at home. Um, somebody could tell you to count from 10 to 20, and you could jump for each of those numbers and stop at 20 and see how far you can get, all right? All right, friends, we're gonna play our teen number game using our say 10 cards, or excuse me, our hide zero cards, saying it the say 10 way. So for example, 10 to 12, good. Can you go ahead and do this one for me? 10, four, 14, well done. What about this one? 10, nine, what's that make? 19, 10, seven, 17. 10, 6, 16. 10, 1, 11. 10, 3, 13. Great job. Keep practicing those numbers, counting the regular way and the say 10 way to remind yourself that this is not one, as in one finger, this is 10 ones when we represent a teen number, all right? Okay, friends, we are going to play with our 10 frame cards. I'm gonna pull some cards over here and I want you to tell me how many we have, the regular way and the say 10 way. Good, say two tens, 20. Three tens, 30. Four tens, 40. What's this one? Five tens, 50. Six tens, 60, seven tens, 70, eight tens, 90, eight tens, excuse me friends, eight tens, 80, nine tens, 90, 10 tens, 100. Great job. Let's go back and count the regular way. Make sure Miss Put didn't mess up and we have 100. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. All right, this is our problem today. We have some pre-K friends who are excited to come to kindergarten next year, and they have seven students that are putting their handprints on poster boards. So they have seven, they're giving me seven of both of their hands. So just down here like this picture, we need to figure out how many hands, how many fingers we have. Okay, let's find out. So one set of hands, two set of hands, three set of hands, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now hold up your hands with me, just like the picture, and tell me, how many fingers do you have? Yeah, you have 10 fingers. So these pictures represent how many? 10. So we need to count by tens to figure out how many fingers will be on the poster. Are you ready? Because I don't want to sit here and count one little finger, two little fingers, three. That's going to take forever. Let's count by tens, okay? 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 fingers. Oh my gosh, can you flash, flash 70 with me? Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 70. Well done. Okay, make sure you're practicing those teen numbers and practice counting to 100 if you haven't already mastered that. You've got this, friends. All right, let's explore the concept of our teen numbers using our 10 frame cards. So if I have two 10 frames, that is the number 20. Good, 10, 20. If I add a cube, it's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good, 29, 30. Now you see that I have my set of 10 here in my cubes, but instead of keeping that there, we're gonna replace that and turn it into a bundle, a 10 frame right here. Now we have 30, good. 10, 20, 30. What do we say when I add one? 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Good job. To represent 40, oh dear. To represent 40, we are going to add our 10 frame card. Go ahead and tell me how many dots we have, friends, over here. 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, good job. After you get 10 ones, you add another bundle over and all the way up to 100. Oh my goodness, friends. Our friend down here gets to go across the path and reach the golden magic pot. When he gets there, he gets to make a wish. You can wish for anything you want. I wish to be back in the classroom with you when it's all safe and ready and there's no more virus. That's my wish. Oh, but I'll, I'll change it a little bit so that it comes true. Keep your wish secret. All right, so we are going to start at 20 and stop at 29, okay? Remember, good mathematicians need to be able to stop when they are supposed to. So say it with me, start at 20, stop at 29, okay? All right, here is our little man and he's going to start at 20 say 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and he made it don't say 30 he made it 29 was his stopping good all right friends we're gonna do one more like this okay I want you to help me practice saying um, our numbers from 50 to 59 get that ready when you're saying these numbers go like this good okay ready 50 51 52 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. He made it. Yay. I hope he gets his wish and you get your wish as well. Okay, friends, get a pencil, a marker if you want to help me to write your numbers. We need to help this snake reach another apple he's so hungry and he needs another apple so let's help him out all right what number did he start on 20 so we need to write what number to help him move 21 good 22 23 good that's the missing number 24 25 26. Oh no, what comes after 26? 26 and one more is 27, 28, 29. A two and a nine. Good job. Go ahead and pause the video if you were writing those numbers and finish your path so your snake can reach his apple. Great job. All right, friends, this is our last problem. Our, um, friend needs to get to the other side and we need to 
start at 45, say 45. Good. Start at 45, stop at 49. Where are you stopping? 49. Okay, mathematicians, you've got this. I'm going to let you try it first, okay? Start at 45, stop at 49. 45. Did he make it? Did you stop at 49? If not, go ahead and practice with me one more time. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Ding, 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 ding. He made it. Well done. Thanks for joining me, friends.